In this video, we will be going over how to replace the screen on Ultimaker 3. You are going to need the following two tools. 11 mm nut driver and the screwdriver that came with your Ultimaker. First, you're going to want to raise your Z all the way up. Make sure the clips are in so it doesn't collide with the camera. Next you're going to want to turn off your printer and probably unplug it because you're going to need to put it on its side in a moment. Turn off your printer and unplug the cable. To unplug the cable, you just pull the collet back and the cable should slip out. Now you need to remove the knob. Take your driver that came with it. There's a hole back here that you can put it through and gently just push on the knob and it should just come out. Should just come out. Alright, next, now that you got the knob out, you need to get this plastic cover out. To do that, you just take your 11mm net driver. There's a nut. And then the whole cover just comes out. There's a little washer here, don't want to get it caught. Alright, next step, you're going to have to take these two screws out. These are the ones that are holding the bottom cover in that lets you access the board. So you're just going to take this one out here. And I like to use the cover that I came that we just took out as a little dish to hold all your hardware. It shouldn't be too tight pretty easy. Now that the bottom panel is loose, we're looking at the bottom of the printer now. You can just pull the cover off. So I like to take the back out here first. Then you can get one of these automotive tools. It's just a body panel tool. You don't need it, but it makes this job a lot easier. These clips right here, I'm just going to pull out till they're free of the frame. Same deal down here. And then there's two rubber pads that have fr friction to hold it in. That's the only thing holding it in. Let's take it out. Just put a reminder to keep all your parts together in one spot so you know where they are. Got our screws and our cover here and the knob right in here. We're all going to keep it in this little convenient tray that the Ultimaker has made for us. All right, now we're looking at the control board on the bottom of the printer. What you're going to want to do is find these two cables right here. Just zoomed in on so you can see. It's going to say EXP1 and EXP2. You got to make sure you label the cables so you know where they go. Otherwise, it's not going to work. As you can see, somebody's already labeled it for me going to EXP2. It's already labeled. All right, now we got a little light we can see. So you got to remove three cables. Got to remove this one right here. This pulls out. The other one came out with it. And you got to remove this one down here. This is labeled uh, SD USB controller. So you can also just gently pull on it. It should just pop right on out. Just like that. All right, next step we got to flip the printer back right side up and take the rest of the screws out. 
All right, now we got the printer right side up. Let's take the four screws out. Remember, this one is here. It's kind of hidden because of the slip. You can't really see, but it's there. So four screws. Aim today. All right, by this time, the board should be totally loose, should have just fallen onto the ground on the inside of the printer. at the bottom of the printer again. Now that the board's loose, you're just gonna take it away and carefully take the screen out as well. It's just sitting there, there's nothing really holding it in place. This comes right out. Then we're gonna lay this whole board mechanism on the ground and I'll show you what to do next. Alright, now we got our board laid out. This part's kinda tricky so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. So you see where we're looking at on the board. We're going to need to just get in real close right there. Here's what you're going to do. There's a sliding tab right here. You try to grab both sides of this, of these little two ears right here, and just carefully push it forward at the same time. All right, so now we're just going to take the cable out just slides right on out. Old screen, we're going to put that somewhere where we're not going to get it mixed up. We're going to get the new screen. So the instructions from Ultimaker basically says this cable's got to go in pretty straight and be right on. Um, it's kind of hard to show on camera exactly the details, so just get your best glimpse, I suppose. You can see that port right there. We're just going to slide this right on in. This uh, brown part on the cable should almost disappear. So it looks like we're pretty in there. Now we're going to slide this mechanism back. And a little bit of the brown part should be exposed. Just like that. Alright, now we got that reinstalled, the screen that we need to fix. One thing you always do when you're fixing something is always double check something before you put everything back together because it always sucks to take it all apart again. So we're just gonna put it back together unassembled basically. So this goes like this. This part goes down here. These two, remember, we wrote which is which. This goes up here. Help if I was putting it in the right way, right? This one. Install it too. All right, be careful while it's dangling from the board like that. We don't want anything funny happening. Make sure there's nothing contacting the board that's metal. We don't want to short it while we turn it on. All right, we went ahead and connected power. Now we're going to turn the machine on. Hey, what do you know? No lines, no broken screen. Tells me we're good to reassemble this whole thing. Follow these steps in reverse order and you'll be all set. <laughs>